Another typical question on the Bergen Academy's test, a circular clock, so it looks just like a regular clock, it's a circle, has the numbers 1 through 24. So unlike a regular clock, which has numbers 1 through 12, this clock has numbers 1 through 24. They are evenly spaced around its face. What number is directly across from the number 17? Okay. Very easy. All I need to do is first draw that circle, that clock, and then any regular clock would have the number 12 up here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way back to 12. But since this clock has numbers that are, um, it's numbered 1 through 24, that means that the biggest number is going to be 24 which is instead of the 12. So everything is going to be double. So instead of 12, I have 24. And instead of 3 o'clock, I have 6 o'clock. Instead of 6 o'clock right here, I have the double, which is 12 o'clock. And instead of 9 o'clock right here, I have the double, which is 18. So 24, 6, 12, and 18, these are the four basic numbers around this clock. Now, the question asks about what number is directly across from 17. Now, 17 should be somewhere here. What number is directly across 17? Now, I've seen a lot of people think about it this way. Since you say across and it's a circle, they assume that you mean use a diameter. So go through the center like this and find the number right here. But nobody said so. Okay, across means across, which is right here. So the number across from 17 is going to be the number right here. What's the number that's going to be right after 6? The number is going to be 7. So the number across from 17 is 7. The answer is C because that's the only answer choice that has the number 7. Now sometimes on the on the test you'll find answer choices like this where answer C is two numbers 7 or 8. Um, you shouldn't be intimidated by this type of answer choice. Basically you try to find the answer. Here our answer was 7 then you look where is 7? It's in C. Ignore the OR 8. It's basically telling you if it's a 7 or an 8, then choose C.